everyone it's Amanda and welcome back to my channel I've got a special very special video for you today and um, these are dies cutting dies from a company that I had never purchased from before they reached out to me um, the company is gear best and they asked if they could send me some dies in metal dies to see if I would do a video review of them so um, I said yes of course and with all my travel it took me a little while to get it out but they've been very kind and patient this company gear best is located in China and the delivery was quite quick I will tell you maybe like two weeks compared to some other um, Chinese companies it was very reasonable um, and if you don't, if you're not familiar with Gear Best, I will tell you that when they approached me, I already knew who they were because even though I hadn't purchased this from them, my husband had purchased stuff from them in the past, more like electronics and um, I think like uh, kind of like a brief, not a briefcase or a backpack, but you know, like a work bag type thing for his laptop and stuff. So he had had really good results. So I kind of figured you know when I get this it's it, they're gonna look nice so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you the dies that I received first thing I'm going to show you right off the bat is something you're all very familiar with and that will be the nesting hearts I did not make anything with these hearts because they are kind of standard and a lot of different companies produce these hearts and you get quite a few of them and they're very light and they I did test them they cut pretty well so I didn't have any issues with them at all and you get one two three four five six seven eight nine and I might even be missing a smaller one in here I had these out playing with them all you know so but I think it was very reasonably priced to get ten of these and they're very thin they cut I used some in my Tim Holtz sidekick and then um, some items are obviously for the big shot. So that's those. Um, next, I'll go with this adorable stained glass window with the dove. I love this. This was like a no brainer for me because it's perfect for, you know, cards that you want to make for confirmations, baptisms, Easter, any kind of a religious holiday card, a get well card, thinking of you just anything so I really like this and I did make a card using this die and it is a small little card to put like on a gift bag and what I did was it's just plain black card stock as the base and then I cut this out of um, I don't know it's like not really card stock but it was a heavier a heavier piece of paper and then behind it, I took some of my scrap paper and I put it behind it and just glued it there. And then if you can see, I took a wink of Stella and very liberally put it over the top to give it some sheen and shine. And I really like this. I thought it turned out very well. And then I just had an Elizabeth Crafts little gold sticker that says faith and I just in my stash and I added that to it. And I think it turned out to be a pretty lovely little card. Next, I will show you um, if we're still going with the religious type of um, dies, I will show you the angel next. I did not make anything with this die. It comes with several pieces. And the only reason is because I find it um, more Christmas related for me. And I wasn't in a Christmas card making mood so sorry um but it has little arms that go here somewhere they kind of fit on there and then it's got this other little actually i i don't know if that's a necklace yeah something like that but this come christmas time if i make this in the base in gold or silver I could do the the wings in silver or gold and then just you know have the other ones kind of like paper piecing and I think this will be beautiful so I'm pretty pretty stoked about that one for the holiday season 
Now let's talk some flowers because I did a lot of cards making the flowers and in all different ways. So what I got were, if you look at them, it just looks like a bunch of little tiny itty bitty dies thrown together. All right, so I got them all sorted out. I didn't figure you guys wanted to see me do that. So I went ahead and did that. And uh, what ha what the, the way these come is they are all flat in one piece. So like when you open the package, it all comes together as one. And me being the person that I am and not realizing that I had to take them apart to use them, I cut them just like this. And what I got were several outlines of leaves. And then I went and did, uh, figured, oh, wait a minute, I did that wrong. And I went and got some full cut of the dies. So what did I do with one of the outlines? And I made this little shaker card with it. This is the outline of one of these um, petals. See? And I backed it on one of the full copies of the petal, the full print. And then I it's puffed up with some tape. Ooh, that's a little loose. I'm going to have to uh, fix that again. But then it's got all these little shaker pieces inside in purple and in blue and they sparkle and then these are little gold elizabeth crafts leaf stickers and then i put them on top of green paper and cut them out and put them behind there and the same with this um, gold flower here and this is just something from my stash that i added but i thought that looks very very interesting and very bohemian looking to me and so I like that a lot and it just you know that's what you can do when you make a mistake is this was a silly mistake on my end and it actually turned out pretty nice now after you cut them apart you can't really go back and do this <laughs> but if you do it ahead of time it'll come out nice so that's one of the flower petals the uh, next one are these that are kind of funky looking they've got ridges all over the ends and they just popped right off I could trim this off a little bit but Sometimes I'm lazy. So what I did with these is I cut them out in several different colors or a couple different colors. Um, another color is not on here that I tried and I didn't like it, but I just alternated, alternated them in various levels. And then I took another design here that's in one of these other dies and put it in the middle. This is from my stash and the papers from my stash, but I thought this was really, really cute. I took some um, Nouveau drops and added them to the middle here. And I just thought, wow, this looks really interesting. And I played with it a little bit to see, do I want it to be straight up and down like that? Do I want it to be like a cross? And um, I like the way it turned out. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. And, um, with that same middle flower and it's actually this right here it's this die that comes as a part of a four piece set here so these two cards are made using these petal shapes this is more like your traditional petal i would think and what i do is i kind of like group them on the back of this and glue them together both of them pretty much the same um, a couple of different petals on this one a couple extra and then I did the same flower on the inside and then this one actually has another centerpiece that I put in the middle here before I added the Nouveau drops now the other thing with this one is I took one of those Elizabeth craft stickers and I put it on patterned cardstock and cut it out and that added just the perfect piece that I wanted for this card. And the, the little Nuva drops, it's just all very pretty to me. Um, I just, I, I love mixing the colors, blue, green, pink, all together. It's just lovely. And then this one is a little bit different. It doesn't have the butterfly. And then I put the um, Nuva drops on the petals, a little bit different pattern but I still think it's very pretty. It's not my favorite one, but it's still pretty. 
And then my last floral card was using this shape petal here. And this one I did the petals in a couple different colors. And then before I adhered them, I just, with my finger, I just moved them a little bit to give them some dimension and make them look like they're curved up. And then this is one of those center floral dies from this kit, this piece set here. And I popped it up on foam tape and put it in the center, another little butterfly and leaf, and then a little, little sentiment for my stash. And of course, Nouveau Drops. So this also is one of my favorites. I think this is so pretty and I'm going to use these petals so much, I think, because even as I was doing this, there's just, there's like a million different ways you could do this. Whether you wanted a full bloom like I showed on the other one, or you wanted to do it like a car, like a cross. I thought that was, I almost did it like that as well. So um, I highly recommend that one. This very pretty. Next, um, I got this cute little border metal die. And I have not used this one yet, but I think it looks so cool. And it's just very sturdy. There's nothing flimsy about this at all. And then one of my favorites that I used on some of the cards is this set here. It's kind of like a doily set with a square that you can use as a frame and then more like a floral wreath and then an inside flower and then the inside of that flower. So you can make these in all different kinds of dimensions like I did on some of the other cards or make it flat. It's just so many different uses. I think that's so pretty. And then the last couple that I have is number one is this peacock. So cool. And I had in mind to use some peacock feather paper with that has that design on it. And, um, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but um, I will give it another try with some plain paper and then maybe just use some of these wings and feathers as the design paper. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right. I love that. Next, I have kind of like a cross hatch full piece card base die. And this one fits over an entire card like this. And I think you can do something very simple with it, as simple as just cutting out a piece of cardstock and putting a sentiment on the front, or doing something more like this flower. You put a flower on top after you've cut that out. I think that would be pretty as well. Isn't that cute? And then finally, the last one I got was something so new to me. And I had a lot of fun with this one. And it's a three-piece die set that makes this cute little basket. So it's like you make two of these, one or two of these, and then one base. So I did that and I put it together. And I used some patterned paper, which I thought made it really um uh, stunning because it gives you know some design without being overwhelming I just think it's cute now I do have a suggestion when you go to make this I used a little bit of glue in the corners as I was setting it because otherwise it kept falling apart as I was trying to have five hands to hold everything together at one time but look how cute that is the glue helped keep it together just fine. And if you want to see um, some dimensions to get an idea of how big this is, I have a couple little pieces of washi tape I'll put in there. This is the skinny washi tape. And let's see if I have another one because there's room for one more. And I don't think I have another. Well, I have these little ones, but we'll put those in there. How cute would these would be at a place setting? You know, if you have a little dinner or favors for a wedding there's so many things to be done with this as well or how about a little gift of some washi tape for a secret pal or a friend or something like that 
So I had a lot of fun with these um, new dies and I highly recommend them. Uh, these were given to me um, in exchange for the review. But honestly, if I didn't like them, I would tell you these are my own views. And um, yeah, I just, I was very pleased. And if I have the opportunity to get some more from Gear Best, I will do another video. Thank you very much, guys, and have a good night. Bye-bye.